Hey guys, it's Olavids, and I'm sure you've seen my many different mod videos based on the music replacements in Kingdom Hearts 3. Well, now I'm going to teach you how to do it yourself. This was requested by Usman Azar, so I hope you're paying attention, man. The original written guide that I followed will be in the description and will be the base of this guide. This would not be possible without Ray Cooper, Normie, and Yo Razor, and any other modder that did the research for this method. So originally, during the time that I made my orchestra mod, the method to replace music was very tedious and it involved editing hex code data. Thankfully, a new method was created that involves a tool called AudioMod, which was created by YoRazor. So I'll be covering this new method for the sake of everyone's sanity. Oh, and of course, feel free to pause any time in case you need to see how things look. So the programs that you'll need to do this is, well, the actual game, Kingdom Hearts 3, as well as Quick BMS, Audacity, VG Audio, AudioMod, and Patch Packs. Before you do any kind of audio editing, you gotta extract all the files from Kingdom Hearts 3. First, you need to download QuickBMS as well as the other file that's listed in this website. Then, you'll need to start up QuickBMS and then select the pack extractor that you downloaded. And then, you'll need to head over to your packs folder, which will be wherever your game file is. You'll need to look for an Epic Games folder, and once you find that, the path from there is KH underscore 3, Kingdom Hearts 3 in all caps, content, and then finally packs. After that, you gotta choose where all these files are gonna be stored. And make sure you have over 70 gigabytes, cause this game is pretty big. While it is a pretty big thing to extract all these files, once you do this, you won't have to ever do it again, as long as you preserve the files. Once you extract all these files, you need to go over to Content, and then Sound, and then from there you go into BGM, and then that's where you'll see all the music. Audio Mog will allow you to unpack these UEXP files in order to listen to what audio you're even replacing. You'll need to, of course, always know which file specifically that you'll be taking, because even if a song appears multiple times in Kingdom Hearts 3, it doesn't always come from the same source. Alright, I hope you were able to get that all worked out. Now we're going to get to the actual audio part of this. As the written tutorial points out, if you're going to be replacing something like a cutscene soundtrack, then you can skip this part. But next we're going to be going through the whole looping process. So for this example, I'm going to use a song called One Star from The World Is With You. What you'll need is to find one point in the song that can loop back into another point, whether it be from the beginning of the song or someplace in the middle. Okay, so now you got to open up Audacity, you know, this is an audio editing program, and uh, I got my song, The One Star, I'm going to be using this as like a demonstration for today. Okay, so... That's what the song sounds like. Now, how do we set up the loop points? How do we find out where it's a, you know, what's a good point to loop? Do we look for the time? No, we don't do that. You have to use these things called samples. Your Audacity probably won't say this. What you gotta do is you gotta go on this drop down, go change it to samples, and you know, because this is what you're gonna need. This is what this entire thing is based on in terms of the looping. So uh, anyway, so yeah, got your song. You know, you could raise the volume, lower the volume if you really need to. You could do that on here. Um, but anyway. So what I'm gonna do is, I already have the samples for this song because I've already put this in the game before. So basically, let me just go through my list of samples that's over, let's see, one star. Uh, here we go, so yeah. So we got this sample right here and this sample right here. All right, I made it smaller so I could you know, easily type and look at this. So you type in your sample, zero, zero, zero. In my case, this is my sample, but um, Four, nine, eight, nine, eight, one. That's a starting sample, ending sample. You do zero, zero, four, four, eight, two, four, seven, two. And then to do the loop, you press spacebar and shift at the same time. As you can see, it loops back over here. It sounded good, right? It sounded seamless. So, yeah. What you're going to need to do, of course, I already had this there because I've done it before, but what you're going to need to do basically is you're going to need to look through the song and like try to figure out what you know can loop into it. You know, sometimes you can start from the beginning, those are like the easier ones. You can just loop it from the end, make it loop right back to the beginning. It sounds seamless, but sometimes it won't always work because you know. This doesn't work, this doesn't loop into this. So for things like this, more complicated songs, or at least more complicated, you know, um, setups for your loop, you're gonna need to go and try to figure out, you know, you're gonna have to listen to the song, look at this, pay attention to this, and then press P to pause. If you find something that sounds good, then you, you know, put this down in like a notepad or some text editor file or whatever. 
and then you need to make sure it matches up with the end of this file. So in my case, the end sample is this, this is at the end. So you gotta find out what part from here to all the way here works for the end. But um, yeah, you know, it's something that, you know, at least for me, I listen to it by ear. I'm not, as far as I know, there's no like tool for it to automatically look for good loop points, but you know, you can listen to it by ear. Some songs, video game soundtracks is a lot easier to loop because they're made to loop, but if you're doing like a, a regular song, then you know, it may take some work for you to find a good looping place. You're really gonna need to look, you know, and listen for a, a good point. But once you find your loop points, make sure you type it down over, you know, in wherever you're taking notes. Make sure you type it down because you're gonna need this again for later. This isn't just, you know, to sound good in here. So yeah, once you have your loop points and all that, you gotta make sure you export it. So you do export as a wave, you have to do it as a wave file. Export as wave. Uh, I already have you know all that stuff save yeah it already exists and then if you see anything in here press clear nothing in here because I already cleared it but you know press clear and then you know you press ok and then you will have exported your audio okay now you gotta open up VG audio so that we can put these loop samples that you got for your song for this part something that I personally encountered is that when I made the loop start from zero it didn't work properly so what I usually do in this situation is I usually put it to start at 1 instead. So far that's worked for me every time. But anyway, for this we just gotta put what we got in there. Any zeros that are in the front don't actually have to be in there, but it's up to you whether you put them or not. Also make sure you save it as a WAV file because that's what the game's gonna be looking for. Now in order to prep your file for replacement, first you gotta make a folder that matches the path of your file. It won't work if it doesn't match up perfectly. Then when you drop your file, which in my case is the .uexp file for the Caribbean battle theme, you'll need to unpack it by dragging it over to audiomog.exe. This will make a folder, and in that folder will be the audio file along with its settings. First I drop the new audio file that I want to use, and then I copy the name of the file that we're going to be replacing. Next I delete that file and lastly rename our new music. Then we'll need to open up the .json file to change up some settings. Right now it'll still have the same loop samples as the old song, so you need to match it up with yours. On this part, start off with the first number that isn't zero. I usually do the loop points and then for start I'll put one, and then for the end I'll put the end of the loop sample. Once you did that, you gotta drag the .json file into AudioMog and if you did everything correctly, it will make a new UEXP and UAsset file. Also I should add that for any part of this that uses the terminal, you can always check to see if everything's working. Replace your old files with your new UEXP and UAsset ones and then all you need to do is pack these things up. Take your folder and then drag it over to the Unreal pack with compression that'll be in the patch packs folder. And then once you make the pack you'll need to make a folder called tilde mods. This will be important for all the mods you gotta use honestly for Kingdom Hearts 3. But you make a folder with that, make sure it has a special character in the front. The tilde is fine, that's a little squiggly line. And then after that you need to drop your new pack into that. Once you do that, the game will load that up first and, you know, it won't like override it with the game's natural packs. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you gotta do. So let's go test it out and I'll show you, you know, it playing in Kingdom Hearts 3. Good, mate! Uh -huh. Get him! Uh -huh. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. If you really need like a written, you know, version of this guy, it's in the description. Written by the original creators themselves. This is a, you know, video version or my video version of, you know, this thing. But it's based on that. So, I mean, if you have trouble here, then you could go read that. I hope you guys make some really cool mods and uh, I'll be seeing you guys next time.